Hello everyone, it's Mr. Montgomery again with a brand new lesson. We're on Unit 7, just in case you forgot, where we're working with 100 charts and really big numbers. And today I'm going to show you how we can still use a number line to help us if we get a little stuck. Because um, before we were only working with number lines all the way up to 20. But now we can use what's called an open number line, what we see right here. It's called an open number line, where there's no real numbers on it yet, but we can put the numbers in there to have it make sense, and it's going to help us out. Now, this is uh, something that you don't have to use, but if it, if it helps you, feel free to use this. Um, but don't think that you absolutely have to use an open number line to solve every single math problem in Unit 7 from here on out. I don't want you to think that. Use what works for you. If the 100 chart works for you, that's awesome. If this open number line works for you, awesome. Maybe you don't need either one of them and you think this stuff is easy. Well, that's fine too. You don't have to use either one if you just know these numbers already. Okay? So uh, today we're starting off on page 301. This is going to be like a little introduction to today's lesson. So if you don't have this page open, please pause the video, hit that space bar. Then when you're ready, hit the space bar again, unpause it, and we will just continue through the lesson. Okay, so if you are uh, still playing the video, I'm going to assume you are ready to go. So I'm going to clear my page here, and let's see what they want us to do. It says, use the open number line to show how to count from 78 all the way to 84. Oh, we could do this. We could absolutely do this. So what we do is we're just going to start numbering the number line. Okay, so after 78, we have 79, 79, then we have 80 after that. And from here, you can just kind of count on. If you know how to count on with these bigger numbers, awesome. So 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83. We have to make sure we don't write too, too big. And 84. Okay, so I'm going to stop there because they said 84 was going to be the biggest number. Now let's find out how many jumps it takes to go from 78 to 84. Alright, so I'm going to make a dot on 78. Ready? And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we end on 84. It took 6 jumps. So if we wanted to be really fancy and write a addition sentence, we could say 78 plus how many jumps did we make? We made six jumps. So 78 plus six, well, that gives us 84. So this is going to be really helpful for when we start doing really big addition problems like this. Okay? But I just want to throw this in there because we're not doing this today, but I just want to put this on here to give you an idea about what we could do, what kind of number sentence we could write. Or we could even be super fancy and write a related fact, right? Related fact, we can take this big number, 84. So we could write 84 minus, uh, let's say, 6. And what, so we use the uh, 84, we use the 6. What number do we not use that would be part of this related fact? 78. 78 is the last number for the related fact, because I know it's been a while, but don't forget a related fact uses the same three numbers, because they're part of the same fact family. So, uh... If you want to do a subtraction related fact, you can do that. Just make sure you use the same three numbers. And uh, if it's going to be a subtraction, make sure this big total is going to be the first number. Okay? Because you have to use the biggest number to subtract from. Okay? So, uh, you know what? 
I want to do one more practice problem because I know that there's a similar one on the next page and I want to make sure no one is confused. So I'm going to erase this real quick. Okay, and anywhere you have on your page, um, maybe you have some extra space above the open number line we just did or below. Wherever you have some extra room, we're going to make our own number line. Okay, we're going to make a, a new one. I don't want you to try to erase all this because I want it there just in case you need to go back to it. So uh, we're going to give ourselves a new little problem. Let's say we have to make a number line from, let's say from 10 to 40, counting by tens. Okay, so I'm going to write this down so I don't forget. So if we have to figure out how many jumps from 10 to 40, counting by tens, let's try to figure this out. So let's draw a little quick number line. Remember, it does not have to be perfect. My number line is not perfect looking. It's got some bumps. That's okay. And we put these arrows to show that this is just a part of a number line. It's not the entire thing because numbers just keep going and going and going. So we're going to start by 10. And now we have to get all the way to 40. So we have to get from 10 to 40 and we need to put in the missing numbers, right? And we're just going to count by 10s. We know how to count by 10s, but if you do need a little extra help, you can go back a couple pages to one of the 100 charts that we've used in our old lessons. So if you turn back like three pages or four pages, there should be a 100 chart right there for you to use just in case you need it. Okay, just in case. You don't have to, but if it helps, feel free to use it. Okay, so from here, we can just kind of count by tens. So we go 10. What's 10 more than 10? 20, and then what's 10 more than 20? 30, and don't forget, whenever we count by tens, the uh, number in the tens house just goes up by one. That's it. That's all that's really happening. So now that we have figured out this number line, how many jumps will it take to go from 10 to 40? I want you to try to figure out real quick how many jumps it's going to take. I'm going to write down right here a little space, blank jumps. I'm going to give you a quick second, count the jumps from 10 to 40. All right, did you get your number? Do you have that number in your head? You can write it down if you want real quick. Okay, if you need more time, hit that pause button. But we're going to work on this right now. Let's see how many jumps it's going to take to go from 10 to 40. So it's going to take one, two, three jumps to get to 40 if we count by tens. So it's going to take three jumps. And you know what's really cool? We could even make an addition sentence with this too. So we could say 10 plus some number equals 40. Well, how many jumps did we make? Well, we made three. I'm going to just show you guys my little shortcut way that I really like using how to figure this out. Because um, there is another way you could do it. But I'll show you my little shortcut way. Uh, well, if we want to add a number to 10 to make 40, what would it be? Well, we first look at how many jumps. We made three jumps. And since we're counting by 10s, well, we just add a zero at the end. And then that's it. So it's 30. So 10 plus 30 equals 40. And maybe you're thinking, whoa, 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 hold up, Mr. Montgomery. I, your shortcut way might confuse me a little bit. And that's okay. I'm going to show you guys something different. So we can count by 10s as we jump. Ready? 10, 20, 30. See? I got the same number. So you can even put, up right above the jumps, you can put plus 10, 
plus 10, and plus 10. And you can add up those three tens if you want, or you just write the numbers up top just like you are counting them, and that is fine too. So watch this. So we are counting 10, then 20, 30. So what is the last jump number? If we count by tens, it's 30. And then we just wrote that right here at the bottom. That's all. All right, but don't don't get too worried. We're not doing this stuff yet, okay? Let's just get used to this open number line to that might help us. If it if you have your own ways of solving things, that's fine too, okay? Um, so now we're going to flip to the next page, and I'm going to go ahead and get that set up on my computer as well. Okay, so the page we need to be on now is page 302. I circled it at the bottom here with a red circle. If you're not on that page, please pause the video and find that page and then hit the play button. But real quick, let's try this convince me part right here. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. And then we're going to, I'm going to have you guys try it out on your own, okay? Since we did, already did some practice on uh, the page before, Let's see what they want us to do. It says, use an open number line. What number comes after 109? By ones. And then, what number comes after 109? Or 109? When you count by tens. So, let's do two short open number lines. Okay. If you want to go ahead and get a colored pencil, that's fine. Because uh, I'm going to use two different colors so we can really see the difference. Okay. So both these number lines are going to start with 109. So we're going to make a little like tally mark right there. And write 109. So the red is going to be our ones number line. And then our blue right here is going to be our tens number line. Okay, so I'm just getting them both set up. If you want to go uh, use like a colored pencil or something, that's cool. You can go ahead and do that. Just pause the video so you can get your number line set up and make sure it looks just like the ones I made right here. So remember, you can't write too, too big because we don't have that much space. All right, so I know it says just as what number comes after, but for counting by ones, I want you to tell me what are the next two numbers that come after 109. All right, I think a lot of us probably did that pretty quick. If you need more time, pause the video and then play it as soon as you're done. For my friends that are finished, let's continue. So after 109, we have 110. And then after 110, we have 111. All right? So remember, once you hit 10, you can't put 10 ones in the ones house. It has to go over and make 110, right? So just don't forget that little rule. Okay, and now for counting by tens, Let's challenge ourselves a little bit. If you can do the next number after 109, awesome. But if you can do the next two, I will be super impressed. But I want everyone to at least try just the next number, counting by tens, right? The blue is counting by tens only. All right, tens. And I'll make sure I write ones up here. So it's a 1, apostrophe, and an S. So 1s and 10s, just so you don't forget or get confused later on. Uh, so I'll give you guys a quick second. Count by 10s, what numbers come after 109? And if you need any help, you can go back like three pages and use the 100 chart.
All right, if you need more time, pause the video. For my friends that are done, let's continue. Okay, after 109, ooh, let me get my blue. We have 10 more than 109. Remember, when we add 10, we're just adding 1 to the tens place, which makes 119. And for my friends that tried the special challenge here, okay, we had a special challenge. After 119, remember, let's make this tens house just one more bigger, which would make 129. See how that tens place just got bigger by one, and then that's it? All right, so if you thought this was pretty easy, you were going to do awesome on our guided practice part. So they kind of have number one done for us. I'm just going to walk through very quickly. So they want so they want us to start at number 99 and count on by ones to the number 105. So what they did was they made some tally marks here, right? We can just trace over these. And this is where they stopped right there. And then they numbered them. 100. 101. 102. 103. 104. And 105. Now, let's see how many jumps it would take to go from the number 99 to the number 105. It's going to take, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it would take 6 jumps. So if we were to, if let's just be a little crazy, if they were to give us a problem, that said 99 plus some random number equals 105. Guess what? This open number line could help us solve that, and we can count the jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's it. So 99 plus 6 will give us 105. All right. Again, I just want to make sure I expose you guys to uh, these bigger number sentences. So later on, it doesn't feel like a surprise. Okay. But next, I would love for everyone to try number two on their own. We're going to start at the number 92, which they already gave us. How cool is that? And we're going to count on by tens. All right. All the way to the number 112. So that is our ending number. One. One and two. So I want you to try on your own to fill out this number line the best you can, counting by tens, and tell me how many and show me how many jumps it would take from get to, to get from 72 all the way to 112. So I'll give you guys a quick minute. All right, if you're still working on this, go ahead, hit that pause button, okay, and finish your work. If you're all done, let's go over this really quick. All right, so uh, 10 more, right, after 72. Well, what is one more than seven? Because remember, we just take that, that tens place and make it one bigger. One bigger than seven is eight. So it'd be 82, because the ones place does not change. After 82, what's one more than eight? It's nine. So it becomes 92. Now there's where things get a little tricky. One more than nine is 10. So watch this. We're just going to write 10 and then add a two at the end. That's it. Because now we have 
one in the hundreds, we have zero in the tens, and we have two in the ones, because that all those tens turned into a 100. All right. And now we're just going to look at this tens place again. Remember, we're all we're just focusing on the tens house when we count by tens. What is one more than zero? One more than zero is one, right? Which would be one. We keep that 100. And then one in the tens. And then two in the ones. We have 112, which is what we had over here. But I'm just going to scroll this out. Because I, I wanted to make sure I show you guys the full all the steps. So now let's figure out how many jumps we have to get from 72 to 112. So it takes one, two, three, four jumps. And again, if they were to give us, I'm just putting this out there. I'm not testing you guys on this next part. I just want to make sure that we're all exposed to um, some slightly tougher number sentences. Uh, so if we had 72 plus some crazy number equals 112, well, you can count the jumps by tens, right? So we have 10, 20, 30, and 40. So 72 plus 40 will give us 112. How cool is that? So this number line will help us out a lot later on in the school year, okay? Again, I just wanted to add this in to make sure that everyone is kind of uh, gets that mindset to get ready to do this later on in the school year. But right now, we're just focusing on making sure we know how to make these number lines. Okay? Now, if you're not in my classroom, uh, and you're not one of my students, make sure you stop the video here and ask your teacher what they would like you to do next. Just let them know that you are done the video. For the friends in my class, I have set up a an online activity for you to complete. All right, there's just a few questions on the Savas site, and I'm gonna show you how to get to it right now. Now, for my friends in my classroom, what you're gonna do is you're going to go to right here, right, our Google Classroom, click on Classwork, and then at the very, uh, towards the top, you're gonna to see 7-5, quick check, you're gonna answer three questions, and then after that, you can go on Pink Cat and practice some of your math skills. I added some extra questions to the Valentine's Pink Cat Games game, okay, uh, with feeding the teddy bear. So uh, have fun. If you have any questions or if you're a little confused, pop back into the regular Google Meet. And um, or if you're watching this and we're back in school in person, well, you can also just kind of sit with me and our friends on the carpet. And I will um, make sure I keep explaining some things a little bit more to help you understand. Okay? So, I hope this helped. Um, if it didn't and you're really confused, please, please, please let me know. Uh, and I will try my best to make to clear th as much up as I can. Okay? Alright, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you guys next time.